For voltage and current measurement, measuring devices called multimeters are used in most cases in everyday laboratory work. These devices measure different quantities such as electrical voltage or electrical current. In each case, different measuring ranges can be represented. A basic distinction is made between analog and digital multimeters. In analog devices, the measured variable is usually displayed by a pointer instrument using analog circuit technology. In the digital variant, first an analog to digital conversion takes place based on which measured variable is calculated using a microcontroller and then displayed on a display. Multimeters are available as battery-operated handheld devices. They are also available in a very simple and inexpensive form as a desktop device and in the laboratories as a structural device. The basic structure and operation of all instruments is, however, almost identical. A selector switch is used to set the desired measured variable and the measuring range. Measuring ranges for direct and alternating voltage or direct and alternating current often have a resistance range as well. Depending on the type, other physical quantities can be measured, such as temperature or frequency. With many digital instruments, the measuring range is initially selected automatically. However, it can almost always be changed manually. With this historic multimeter, the principle of the measuring range setting can be represented the voltage measuring range is changed via the selector switch. Different taps of an internal resistance network are selected so that the voltage to be measured is optimally displayed on the pointer instrument. This basic principle is still used today in all multimeters. Less visible, but an important distinguishing feature of the multimeter is the accuracy of the instruments. It is usually specified in the data sheet as a percentage value and refers to the measuring range selected for the measurement. Digital instruments are not always more accurate than analog instruments. It is also important to note what is measured in detail by the multimeters. This applies in particular to AC voltage and AC current measurements since the measured error increases with increasing frequency. Although parts in alternating quantities are taken into account in the desired form.